Jason Preston is the prince of the past. Presto, Preston is a magician, and he joins us now as we get set for Bobcat Basketball 2021. JP, how are you? I'm doing good, Russ. How are you? I'm doing well. This build-up to this Bobcat Basketball season is presented by CareSource, and we care about you not only as a basketball player, but as a human being as well. And, and you've got ties to Jamaica and Florida and here in Ohio, and it's a pandemic and, and your family spread out and you're with your basketball family and it's been eight months and you're starting a new season. What has all of this been like for you? Um, it's definitely been an adjustment, but um, nothing we can't handle. Um, practices are different and everything's kind of unclear day by day, but you know, you just gotta keep listening to what people are telling you and follow instructions. You uh, and your basketball team doing all right? We doing okay too? Yeah, yeah. I've been talking to them uh, pretty frequently. They're doing good. And yeah, our basketball team's looking pretty good. We haven't had, uh, knock on wood, any positive tests this whole time we've been here. Um, I got to uh, look at this just to make sure I get the numbers right because they're important numbers. 344 assists in your Bobcat career, that's seventh. Uh, DJ Cooper is the all-time leader in assists in a Bobcat career. You were second in the country last year with 238 assists. Um, I know you're a team guy, but when you hear about those numbers, when you hear about where you rank in the country and where you rank in Bobcat history, what does that make you feel? Um, it's definitely very humbling to, to hear that um, you mentioned with those names, but uh... Ultimately, I just want to get my teammates involved at the end of the day and, and just uh, win a lot of games. Well, Bobcat fans certainly hope for that. And Bobcat fans are hopeful that the season actually does get tipped off. I asked this to our, our football players that I interviewed prior to the season, and I wonder this about you and your teammates. Did you think that we would actually get here to actually have this season uh, and get set to tip it off? Um. I, I actually was, I, I actually did believe the whole time that, that we would have a season. Um, people were really fighting hard for it, and, like, the NBA bubble was pretty successful. So I figured there would be, like, at least, like, some window of chance that we'd be able to play, even if it's not uh, 30 games. But I, I, I kept faith the whole time. There was momentum, even with the tournament being canceled last year. And you guys on the floor, uh, a surreal scrimmage uh, in Cleveland. Do you feel that the the momentum has been able to carry through this coronavirus to to this year? Uh, yeah, for sure. We have a lot of key returning pieces, and we we like where we're at right now. We uh, we also like the returning pieces we have or um, new pieces we have. I'm sorry. You know, we're really excited to show it. You uh, have been in this unique experience, much like any other athlete in any sport during this time, uh, and gelling with, with the, the newcomers is important, but keeping that bond with guys that are, are, are returning with you as well, what has that experience been like to uh, be apart from them potentially for a time and, and Zoom and all the, those interviews or, or all those conversations and then onto the floor as well? How is all of this bonding been able to come to come to be? No, yeah, like I said before, it's certainly an adjustment. And like all these Zoom calls before, like during the during quarantine in the summer, we had to get everyone on, on Zoom call at least once a week. But I mean, everyone's been open to trying this. And whenever we're uh, not playing basketball, we're, we're often uh, still together a lot like just with each other and like either if it's in the locker room or maybe uh, getting some food to go. But like surprisingly, we're still uh, finding time to all be together. You've got an incredible skill. It's vision and, and you wear glasses too. So that makes your vision even sharper. Uh, <laughs> but on the floor, uh, describe to our fans what it's like and how you see plays develop, how you find teammates the way that you do. It's hard to put it into words, I'm sure. But what is that experience like when, when you're seeing teammates and getting the ball to them to assist for them to, to hit a big bucket? 
Um, well, there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, I'm always thinking of like my teammates' like strengths and weaknesses, where they may like to catch the ball, or maybe not reading uh, the guy who's guarding me, but the guy who's guarding my teammate, and like where he is and help side defense, and how long it may take him to recover if I if I swing a pass. Um, film helps with that a lot before and after games, like studying defenders' tendencies, knowing what people uh, may or may not do. Do you think people sleep on your offensive ability and think of you just as a passer? Um, may, maybe so. I mean, I guess if they did, that'd be an advantage for me. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think your your um, uh, knack of getting to the rack, getting to the bucket to be able to finish and your shots come along too. Uh, Jeff Bull says your your shots really starting to scorch the nets. Huh? Do you agree? Um, yeah, I put a, put a lot of work into that this summer and certainly something I want to uh, keep building off for next year. Finally, the, the way that it's set up is you're, you're set to tip off the season in Champaign at the Assembly Hall at the University of Illinois to take on Wright State in the opener to go from the the scrimmage on the court in Cleveland to be able to actually play a game uh, some eight plus months later in Champaign. Um, is that going to be a, a, another surreal experience for you? Oh, most definitely. And it will be it'll be different because I'm not sure how many fans will be there. It's gonna be it's gonna be a new experience for everyone, but definitely it's just a blessing to be being able to play basketball. Like like we said, there are a lot of questions going into this year, so definitely just a blessing to even be able to play, and I'll always remember that. Well, Jason Preston, I love watching you play. Our fans love watching you play, and I love the fact that we're going to be able to watch and hear you play. So good luck this year, and thanks for the time. Thank you, Russ. That's our interview with Jason Preston as we get set for Bobcat basketball supported by CareSource. And this is Bobcat TV.